Conceptually, it seems to be common sense to realize that mixing a mind-altering substance such as alcohol with operating a motor vehicle isn't necessarily the smartest of ideas. When you get behind the wheel, intoxicated, you are consciously violating someone's core rights as a human being, the simple right of being alive. Over the years, mainstream media, radio, and schools alike have tirelessly attempted to thwart this mindless activity and often failed. Most people wouldn't dare murder someone, but for some reason, plenty of citizens decide to play their cards driving drunk and end up killing innocent victims. This is unarguably an act of conscious murder. This year, 10,839 people will die in drunk driving crashes, or to be specific, one every 50 minutes. It's easy to forget that dry statistics represent real people in real lives. And the sad part is, drunk driving never actually seems to be of concern until someone you know is affected. It sounds pretentious to say, but personally, I'm not surprised the USA leads the charts in drunk driving, nor am I surprised that coincidentally the USA falls on the bottom of the charts in education. These things go hand in hand. Drunk driving is mental, and just a complete primitive act of mindlessness and lack of willpower. When one views the facts, they seem to be undeniably startling and disturbing. But the question remains, why do these acts of murder continue? No one can come up with a perfectly cohesive response to the question that is posed. However, the only thing that matters is that it continues to occur and lives continue to be stripped from the innocent. It takes 8,460 bolts to assemble an automobile and one nut to scatter it all over the road.